Five local colleges are back open after multiple bomb threats forced evacuations and a lockdown. Norfolk State University, Tidewater Community College and Regent University all received threats for bombs. And late this afternoon, we learned that there were also threats at Virginia Peninsula Community College, formerly Thomas Nelson Community College, and at Paul D. Camp Community College in Franklin. News 3 reporter Antoinette Delville has more on the threats. We are working to get information on if any of the threats are connected, but many people I spoke with are relieved that no bombs were found at any of the campuses. The calls coming in close together. First responders say the bomb threats at Regent University in Virginia Beach and TCC in Chesapeake were minutes apart just before 1130 this morning. It was scary. I was like, oh my God, get my kids out of there. People evacuating Regent University waiting in the summer heat as police investigated. The all clear given nearly two hours later after a sweep of the campus. Everyone was pretty calm. We just all walked out um, calmly and evacuated because we didn't know, you know, the reality of the situation until um, the police force showed up. People at a nearby hotel were also evacuated as a safety precaution. I was in my room and the alarm started going off and they made an announcement that it was a, a bomb scare and everybody to evacuate the building. I was staff and everybody was standing outside and I was like, a bomb threat here at the hotel? At the TCC campus, fire officials say a caller reported a bomb in a backpack. After a thorough search, nothing was found. Over at NSU, bomb sniffing dogs were brought in on the campus after a threat was made regarding a bomb in the university's administration building. Students and staff put on lockdown. That search from police also coming up empty. There were also bomb scares at Virginia Peninsula Community College and at Paul D. Camp Community College in Franklin. Many folks thankful no one was in any real danger. Just be alert at all times. NSU is providing counseling services for students and staff affected by the incident there. And a reminder, there was a similar situation earlier this year at three area historically black colleges and universities. No bombs were found in those cases. In Virginia Beach, Antoinette Elbell, News 3. The News 3 investigative team looked into the penalties for making a bomb threat. And here's what we found out in Virginia code. Any person who makes or communicates a threat to bomb, burn, destroy, or damage any place could be found guilty of a Class 5 felony. But if that person is under the age of 15, it's a misdemeanor. And for someone convicted of a Class 5 felony, punishment would be one year minimum, 10 years maximum imprisonment, and a fine of up to $2,500. For kids under the age of 15 facing the Class 1 misdemeanor charge, conviction would mean up to a year in jail or a fine of up to $2,500.